Well, my name is Andrea <laughs> D'Alessandro, and I'm a second time candidate for the Arizona legislature. I'm running for the House for representative. Um, several years ago, in 2004, I came to Arizona to retire. Uh, it didn't take me a long time to realize that there were some issues that concerned me. The first issue that caught my attention was the systemic de defunding of public education. And uh, I just know that I grew up in a very modest home, and my, because of affordable higher education, I was able to move from being pretty poor to moving to the middle class and becoming a math teacher first. And then later on, when I was in my 30s, I went back to school, got my MBA in professional accounting, and became a CPA. Children and young people are only part of our population, but they're 100% of our future. And I think, that, so that's my you know, initial motivation for running for office. Since then, one bad thing has happened after another. I, I think that you know, the children and the young people they're only part of the story. Lack of support for public education affects everything. Real estate values. You know, when we passed the sales tax in May, I felt that my property value rebounded a little because research shows that for every dollar you invest in pub public education, it increases your, your property value by $7. So I thought that was a positive sign. It also affects national security. Down in Fort Huachuca, which I told you is in this district, they have a hard time hiring high-tech people from the area. Okay, they have to get people from out of state. Also, we, we can't go back to the old Arizona. You know, we have water issues, so we can't really grow that much cotton and citrus. And we also need a lot of water for copper production. We have to look ahead forward for the new, the new Arizona. My, my vision is that we will support high, te high technology jobs, like bioscience and optics, and renewable energy jobs. You know, I've gone to a lot of Congresswoman Gifford's solar events, and I think that is the answer for getting us out of this budget mess that we're in. We, could, we have so much sun here that we could actually generate enough energy to send it to California, and we can be a really, really prosperous state. We need young people educated, <coughs> that we're ready for the new kind of jobs that, that can be coming to Arizona when they're trying to develop a new business or grow an existing business, they're having trouble recruiting leaders to come here because they look at two problems. First, where are we going to send our children to school? Secondly, where are we going to get a trained workforce? If we don't have educated people, we have higher correction costs, higher unemployment costs, higher welfare costs, higher health care costs. 